Welcome to today's video. I'm going to be creating a look with the new Natasha Denona Mini Trio Chrome Palette. We've got, I believe, all new shades, specifically the multi-chrome. I haven't seen a multi-chrome like this from her before. And if you're new to my channel, I am a huge multi-chrome, shifty, sparkly, shiny eyeshadow lovers specifically from indie makeup brands. So I wanted to try out this palette and show you some swatch comparisons as well in case you're thinking about getting this palette and maybe you just want the multi-chrome or, or maybe you're not really sure if you already have this multi-chrome. So let's get right into the swatch comparisons and then the tutorial portion of the video and then I'll give you some of my thoughts at the end. Primer the Pat McGrath intensifies long wear eyeshadow primer. I'm trying this one out. I'm going to be creating a halo eye, so I'm going to go in with this center shade right here, and I'm just going to pop that onto the inner lid, like right, just keeping it on the lid. And then on the outer corner, I'm just packing it on. I'm going to be using something else to blend it out. And then I'm just going to extend this underneath my little lash line a little bit. And then I'm taking this shade, and it's gonna go just right above it, kind of halfway above it and then halfway into that shade to create a blend in between them. And then I'm gonna do the same out here. I feel like the shade seems a little bit like wonky. Uh, it doesn't wanna like stick down in certain areas. When I did the other eye, I had that issue, but I would have to really try to blend it out and see how that works and then next I'm gonna go in with this one right here and it's gonna go just right into it and it blends so nicely with everything it's very pigmented for how pastel it is absolutely love this one and then I'm just gonna bring it out here as well I have a little bit of fallout actually which I'm really surprised to be honest because these are these don't really have kick up and I'm gonna take a clean brush with some setting powder and I just like to go over the edges with that and really just refined the blend. I am taking that center darkest shade underneath a little bit more and underneath the inner lower lash line. And then in the center, I'm gonna go in with the lightest shimmer right here. I believe this is not a multi-chrome. There's no, I don't see any shifts. I'm gonna mist it just to help it adhere easier. Hopefully minimize fallout. And it's just gonna go right underneath. In the center, I'm gonna be going in with the multi-chrome. I just misted my brush to help it kind of spread around because it is a little bit drier, but I actually really wanna see how it performs on top of a tacky primer. So I'm gonna use my Fernie Pixie Epoxy. And we're just gonna see if we can kind of punch it up a little bit because I, I don't really feel like it's that metallic, honestly. Picked it up on a What's Up Beauty R110 brush. Mm. I feel like it's very satin. I feel like it looked shinier in their promos. Maybe that's just me and I'm imagining it. I'm gonna go in with my finger because sometimes that does help. It's quite shifty, but it's not very shiny. And I'm taking the lightest shade and I'm just gonna pop that right in the center. It honestly didn't really layer well over this one. Like I just feel like I couldn't really see it, but it does lighten it up just a little bit, so. I think that's where I'm gonna leave it. And here's the finished look. Obviously I've used this once. I definitely feel like I need to try out this very cobalt blue because I think that it might be a little iffy on the blend. That's just my suspicion in using it lightly in this look. Obviously you can get very specific kinds of looks with a little five pan monochromatic eyeshadow palette. I do like that there's a very light shade, a mid-tone shade, a deepening up shade, and then two shimmer shadows. One is a little bit darker, one is light. These two mattes performed really, really well. No issues with those. So this one is very metallic and shiny. I actually feel like this one is more metallic than the actual multi-chrome shade. So let me just wash them together. I feel like they look a little bit similar here, but when I apply them, I can tell that this one is shinier. I think you can really see it just on my lower lash line. It just has a bit more shine overall. So I'm not really impressed by this. I feel like it looks shinier 
in their swatches and in their like ads. So I would definitely recommend at least misting your brush after you pick up the shadow just to help it really adhere, get the most shine out of it. It is very, very shifty. It's a very common kind of shift. I do really actually wish this had been not just like a regular shimmer shadow, but more like an iridescent multi-chrome. I think that would have made this palette even more special if there were two multi-chromes. I think this was $28. I don't know if I would recommend it. I would say wait for a sale. If this absolutely speaks to you, you don't have anything like this and you don't mind the multi-chrome not being the shiniest, it is at least very, very smooth, which usually these kinds of darker multi-chromes tend to be very smooth. And I hope the swatch comparison part was helpful. So let me know in the comments below if you pick this palette up and what you think of it. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel and you love eyeshadow tutorials, especially with shiny, shifty, sparkly eyeshadows, definitely consider subscribing. And thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next time.